son George, who was with Ladder 7, Fire Department, City of New York. And um, he responded to the call to the Trade Center on September 11th, along with the rest of the fellows on tour that day. And they were all lost that morning. I heard about the Salvation Army having a tent, and I knew that it was taking care of the rescue workers. And I just wanted to come down here because I think of all the people who come here and volunteer to service the workers and have things ready for them when they come in, I think it's more important for me to be here. I'm the one that has been directly affected. There's cots in the back. They can lay down and take a little rest if they need to. But there's always the hot soup. There's always the tea, the coffee. There's always a hot meal, fruit, candy, drinks, everything. The first several months after September 11th, as many as eight canteens served as hydration stations around Ground Zero. Then the Army positioned two small sites at opposite corners of what became known as the pit to serve in a more permanent capacity. Site two was a one-room plywood structure filled with everything from cold drinks and snacks to socks and eye drops. The other structure, a small tent, provided similar items for the Ground Zero workers. Both became what many men felt was a sacred haven on the edge of destruction and horror, the likes of which most of us will never know. Salvation Army officers and volunteers became angels of God's mercy and love at those two humble locations. Mm -hmm.